welcome to a Raspberry Pi video of my new project. This is a Raspberry Pi night vision camera. And uh, in this video, I'm also going to show you what the camera does. I'm sure you want to see that in action. And I'm also going to show you how I built it. Uh, we'll just give you a quick rundown. We've got uh, infrared camera here. It's about £2.50. Um, from Primeroni or something like that. I've basically mounted this inside an old uh, camera flash. Uh, dremeled out the top here and fitted it with a Pimeroni Hyperpixel 4 screen, which fits in here. Which I cracked it whilst I was uh, creating it. And you can probably just see. Where you see the crack there. Um, but it still works and uh, yeah. took all the insides out and I fitted uh, the camera there, you can see that and that goes back into a Raspberry Pi Zero which is sat underneath here. Uh, fits perfectly, a little hole at the back here for the power cable, micro USB into the uh, holder. And at the moment, I can just connect a USB battery um, and place it back inside there. So it's fully holdable, which is quite good. You can also angle it as well. Very difficult, you've only got one hand. You can have it like that if you want to. Um, and obviously, it will display what's here. So, most importantly, you probably want to see what it looks like in action. Let's give it a whirl. So let's have a look at the um, night vision camera in action. Speaking quietly because it's about 11 o'clock at night and people are asleep. So first thing I'm going to do is give you a quick tour of the room. And then we're going to turn the night vision camera on. We'll see how it performs in the dark. So here's the sink kitchen, table, we've got some things on here, So now we're going to boot up the night vision camera, which is here. So, battery powered. Let's prime that on. Okay. So the first step here is to uh, strip down the old 
clash, remove the innards and the plan is to uh, put the infrared camera in here and potentially use the uh, reflective properties to boost the infrared signal and then the Raspberry Pi can sit in here and then somehow we'll get the display fitted in there. So let's do that now. So I've stripped out the innards of the old flash and uh, you can see there's quite a bit of room in there for Raspberry Pi and the screen as well and, uh, ooh, and also you can hold it like this which is going to be quite cool. Right, next thing is to test out the infrared camera with the reflection box. See if it makes any difference. I've been trying out the uh, infrared camera, night vision camera, and uh, I thought I would try to see if I could reuse part of the flash. So in here is the old mirror surround for the flash, and I wondered that if I fitted that in it, it might actually make a difference. But I tested it out and it doesn't, so it's just going to be, be used as a casing. Um, another issue I've got here is that the cover that goes on top, it's got this kind of corrugated feature, which means that it's not particularly good um, for allowing the camera to see through. So what I might do is use some kind of black card uh, and possibly make some holes in it, fit that into there. But that's a bit of a work in progress at the moment. But everything else works and uh, everything else is fitting nicely into place. So I'm going to use the um, Pimeroni Hyperpixel and that is going to be attached somehow on the top like that. So you have a screen. And because there's not a lot of room inside, when you get the uh, the original flash bulb in, there's not a lot of space inside. What I'm going to do is use one of these Raspberry Pi Zero, and that will give it a nice lot of space inside there. Um, everything can fit in a bit better, and uh, we're sorted. I was going to test out the uh, night vision camera. Uh, I've written a small code here using GUI Zero and uh, just going to test that the program's working before I put the uh, Raspberry Pi and all co components back into the flash. So I'm just going to quickly go and turn the lights off first. Pretty good. Let's capture a picture as well. Get it installed in here. Excellent. Right, so the next thing to do is to, uh, I think, start to put it all together. The uh, original part of the flash has been removed and you can see now the screen fits quite nicely into there. And then on the hyperpixel I've had to remove this section here. Uh, I've checked with Pimeroni, they said it's absolutely fine, it will still work, although I still need to test it. And then that will allow the flash to fit in properly. So I've spent most of the day drilling and dremeling out these three holes here for the camera to uh, fit into. It wasn't particularly easy, uh, probably could have used a laser cutter, would have been better. However, what we can now do is, this can sit in here. We need to find some way of fixing that in, maybe gluing it or sticking it. And then what we can do is pop it into here. 
So it's pretty easy to do it like this. That goes on there. And then this slides onto here. So there's the camera. Um, that's going to sit in there. Screen at the back. The camera's fallen out, so I need to find some way of maybe gluing it or sticking that in. Still a bit of uh, additional space needed here in order to get it to fit in. But getting closer. The next stage of the night vision hack is to mount the camera inside the uh, flash around and then uh, this is it's very tight here uh, it's come out now okay this is then attached to the Pimeroni hyperpixel and I've had to rotate the screen um, not physically but the actual driver software to ensure the image is up the right way because um, otherwise when it fits in here it's upside down I've done a few tests and it seems to be working. Uh, problem now is this bit here gets caught on the base here. So I need to maybe remove some of this or tidy this up. I uh, also need something to stick this in here. Might use some sugar. At the moment it's just uh, some blue tap there. But we're getting there. A little bit more Dremlin to um, make sure that I can fit the Raspberry Pi and the power in. This is the bottom half of the kind of that mirror flash area, which hopefully now is going to fit in here because the problem was that. So now I'm going to tidy that up and that will slide in there nicely. I now have the uh, camera and the screen working. And uh, let's do a number of things to get this to work. First of all, I had to change the preferences. Uh, I had a problem where the touch screen wasn't working. Uh, it was to do with this, the underscan, so I had to change that. Now it works. And then the other feature was to edit the rotation. Uh, where is it? Just change that to rotation one in order to get it to work. Now it's functioning, it's up the correct way, and the camera's working, so I can now work on the buttons. This part of the program, I'm trying to build the preview window into uh, this space here. So you can see the program running here. This is night vision for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, capture a picture. So if I press night vision 10, you can see the preview there. Uh, what I'm trying to do is program the code so that it fills this area here. Uh, at a point now where I've managed to preliminarily line it all up and uh, camera's fitted there. There's the screen, tested it, it's all working. Battery's gonna go into here. And it's gonna use some of the sugar to secure the uh, lenses and uh, infrareds in position and then I'll uh, get the screws in there put it all together and then I can work on the programming obviously these high-tech elastic bands will be removed and uh, ready to go